You know, I pushed the button and at the last minute I decided to turn the camera around to see if I had turned the microphone on. It was not on. So I would have done this whole video and there would be absolutely no sound. Not very good. So Mr. Camera Junkie came yesterday and this was the room that we used to take some pictures. So if you use a like a 1.4, uh, 1.8 lens, you'll blur out the background. So let me spin this around so you can see. All right, so this used to be the old Christmas room, all right, and this is after my brother put in a new, uh, what do you call that on the floor? Oh, that fan is blowing right now to blow some air across it because I, I did some mopping. Uh, so we'll find out how well voice isolation does. <laughs> if you hear a lot of fan noise, that's why. So uh, I've had pictures in storage that I have taken over the years. These were all taken with film that you see up there right now. All right, starting from the left. I, I like black frames and a black mat, at least uh, two, three inches of a matting around a picture and then the frame rather than edge to edge. Because if you're gonna do edge to edge, then you might as well just, here I am, you might as well just get, uh, a canvas, a gallery canvas, which wraps around uh, your picture. So you have to uh, give it a little extra space because it'll wrap around the frame. They staple it in the back and they print it on a, a, uh, a gallery paper. This alarm is doing the, the uh, whatchamacallit, the battery thing again. So let's get rid of that. So I was just uh, communicating with Randy and there's uh, seems to be a problem with uh, Wanda, his dog, and I hope it doesn't have a, a bad ending. Uh, if uh, I, t I asked him to check and see if she swelled up, because if she swelled up, she's choking from the inside, and that is immediately go to the vet. Do not pass go. Do not waste any time. So um, Lewis was here, wasn't yesterday, but it was the day before. And I've uh, become a little bit endeared with the uh, uh, A7C Mark II. And the ironic thing is when this camera came out, it was kind of like, no, what were they thinking? Okay, but <laughs> with the 33 megapixels, I was able to take pictures of that big bird out right outside and blow it up a lot. And yeah, made kind of a believer out of me. And uh, I liked the camera, so... It was time for it to go back to Randy, but Randy decided he's going to let um, uh, Lewis, Mr. Camera Junkie, use it for a while. So uh, Randy had uh, allowed him to use uh, like a Canon R10 or something to that effect. So we exchanged cameras, so the A7C Mark II is gone. And so I asked B&H and, H and uh, they sent me one. So I, I think I was not even 24 hours without one. So I'm shooting this with that. But with the R10, I'm not even walking around. Uh, with the R10, you'll be seeing me do some stuff with the R10. So what I'm thinking in my mind is what makes uh, the Sony a super camera, okay, is not Sony. Honestly, it's they make a good camera. They make a great focus system. I love using it. They've got a good array of lenses, so it's kind of like it sits in a sweet spot. But Canon can do that also, and so can Nikon, honestly. I don't mean to be getting so much into cameras today, but they're on my mind, so I'm just going to speak about them for a little bit, okay? But what makes this camera really terrific is its lousy stabilization system. And you're going like Peter. The lousy stabilization system makes it a, an excellent Primo camera. Well, yeah, it does. And the reason for that is because the stabilization system has been so consistently bad with... Let me turn this fan off because I'm a little worried it's going to be too, too loud. Okay. All right. So this used to be the old Christmas room. So the camera would be over here. Okay, and the tree would be right down there. Okay, and I moved into that door right there, which was my dad's office, and it's a lockable door. Hello, that becomes important to me. Okay, 
So, but now it's so pretty in here. It makes a really nice background. So anyway, the Sony system is so poor that uh, like Canon blundering so much, you had third party people uh, come up and make uh, software to overlay on their software called Magic Lantern. If you haven't heard of that, I'd be surprised, number one. But if you haven't heard about that, this is a group of people that for free have designed a firmware overlay for some of the Canon cameras. And it adds uh, additional features that people have been begging for and Canon just won't give. So the same thing has happened with Sony, okay? Uh, but the odd thing is Sony has made an attempt to do that themselves and they blundered it. So what Sony has is a poor stabilization system. Even though they tout it, uh, oh, our stabilization system gives you wonderful stabilization, and no, it doesn't. Fake news, okay, or whatever channel you watch uh, on TV these days. So you've had groups of people that have gotten together to create an external image stabilization software. And now Sony has that too. It's called Catalyst Browse. It is slow. You cannot put anything in a queue, meaning if I if I divided this up in like, let's say, four different clips by the time I, I finish this, all right, and it's not, this is a one take, um, you, you have to do them one at a time with Catalyst Browse. And that can be a pain, which means you're kind of like tied down to the computer desk. Bad. Thumbs down. Okay. But they tried. Uh, and it makes it stable as a gimbal. You know, that thing that you can add to the camera to make the camera stable? So now I am hand-holding this. I'm going to run it through the software. Okay, so Catalyst Browse will not let you put a cue. Okay, Catalyst Browse, no matter how good I set the camera here uh, for like 422 10-bit, and I do have it set to 422 10-bit, okay? Because I get uh, a really good... Uh, uh, coloring and 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 especially for uh, pictures and stuff, but anyway, um, there's a group that created software that's also free because Catalyst Browse is free, and because Sony will record a gyro that they have in the camera, meaning it's not uh, software that's looking for shakes and stuff. No, it's recording my hand movements uh, along with the audio in a separate track. All right, it's not applying it, but you can apply it. Now that software is called Gyro Flow, and it's free. And it takes all the little points, one after the other, uh, and fixes it. So like, let's say you have an, a Sony E10, E10 Mark II, or you even have that ZV-1, and you go, what a great camera. It does the focusing and everything so good. And I'll, I'll just, I'll close my eyes and ignore the fact that the stabilization basically is poor. Well, you don't have to anymore, okay? So what Gyroflow does is a free software. It's done by a group of people uh, that kind of like did the Magic Lanterns. Not the same group, but I mean, it's like external people. So they give you a cue, meaning you could put 50 clips in there, go to bed, wake up in the morning, and they're all done. They've all been stabilized. And they're not stabilizing by looking at the uh, image. Like if you look at the corners of this one, you can see if, if the pictures are shaking. My hand is a little shaky. Okay, I'm kind of looking at the LCD there for a second. Okay, so uh, it will use the gyro. So which means if my hand moves like this, it recorded it. So it will do the opposite movement. That's what gyro stabilization does. So we got the queue. Ne the next thing is the uh, Catalyst browser will not allow you to output a high, super high quality image. If you feed it a 422 10-bit high color image with 100 megapixels, uh, not megapixel, 100 megabits of recording time, Catalyst Browse strips all that out. So what you're going to get is basically a webcam level uh, software. Gyroflow doesn't do that. Gyroflow will actually put out your video up into uh, ProRes and not even the low ones, the high ones. Now, I use the low ones because they're far better than H.264 and H.265. And the very lowest one, I think is called Proxy, uh, comes out with a little bit bigger file than H.264 and H.265. So it's a win-win. 
I get a much better quality. I get 422, 10 bit, uh, and all of that is in the uh, GyroFlow software. Now they just came out with an upgrade. I'll tell you about that in another video because this one's getting long. Okay, so you'll see, be seeing some videos with this brand spanking new A7C Mark II, and I will be making some walking around videos with the Canon R10. Now the Canon R10 also is sitting in a sweet spot, but no gyro information. So stabilization, it is what it is. And boy, if that is not a losing deal breaking proposition, even if you have Canon lenses, in my mind, I'd rather buy a low end Sony camera to be getting up, walking around and talking to you with and jittery as I am at 71 years old, you think it's a joke? It's not. My brain still feels like I'm 30, 35 years old and I'm wondering why doesn't the body cooperate? What the hell? You know? So there is a jitteriness. It's not like uh, uh, people that shake a lot, but it's enough where I can't keep a very light camera like this still for a long period of time. So I'm going to throw this in GyroFlow and you're going to see it come out stabilized. Win, win. What is, I, what is, I forgot what Sly says. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, time to go have chicken lunch. Catch you guys later. I love you. Pray for Randy's dog. We don't want to lose another dog now before Christmas, okay? So just say a quick prayer for God's hand to get in there and straighten things out. Love you guys. Catch you later. Bye.